Thanks, Alex. Go Vikings! Starting Thursday, September 4th through Sunday, September 7th, Rome will once again host the Rome International Film Festival, commonly known as RIF. We're proud to announce the Viking Fusion staff member Michael Moncrief has two short films entered in the competition this year. To tell us more about the creative process involved in being part of RIF, please welcome Michael Moncrief. Hi, Michael. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about you? Good. Thanks for being in the studio here with us. Glad to be here. Um, so I think we should start with the basics for those who don't know who you are. Um, where are you originally from? I am originally from a very, very small town called Belleville, Georgia. Okay. And um, what year are you at Barry and what's your major? I'm a senior theater major. All right. Well, uh, Michael, what was it that first got you involved with filmmaking? Well, I guess um, it all spawned from the inspiration from my uh, grandmother, who used to, um, who she and I would uh, watch uh, Turner Classic movies all the time. And then from there, um, I just kind of uh, nurtured um, my own education where filmmaking is concerned by, you know, just reading books and obviously watching films made, you know, back from the day, you know, trying to um, not copy, but at least be inspired from the original masters of filmmaking and learning from them and reinterpreting them just like paintings from the you know impressionistic um, era did with you know paintings by Monet and Renoir and things like that. Okay so now that we know a little bit about your background um, can you tell us a little bit about what the Rome International Film Festival is? The Rome International Film Festival is a film festival here in Rome. It, uh, it's, this year we've, we're showcasing about 135 films. They're all ranged from docs, um, uh, narrative shorts, um, international shorts, um, features, um, they come from all over the world. Um, we have a lot of uh, local Georgia films in this festival as well. And we're very much a walking film festival, as in all the venues you can walk to and from at a very, you know, you can catch as many films as you can, and that's kind of what our motto is, is that we want to be, you know, we feel like we're a very charming film festival, and we want to always keep it, not small, but definitely, you know, a you know walking festival. Well, having said all that, how does it feel to have a film in the film festival this year? Well, um, I'm I'm very honored. Uh, like I said, it's um, it's it's very nice because I worked there over the summer, and it's great to see how an actual film festival works, and it makes me appreciate even more um, my film actually being showcased in the festival. Okay. Um, can you tell us about any current projects you're undertaking? Right now I'm working on a short film called Proposal, and hopefully I will get that done around November 1st so I can send it as my supplemental, supplemental material for a grad school. Okay. And will Proposal be able to be viewed by the Barry community? Perhaps. Perhaps. I haven't decided that yet. Um, maybe when I, when I complete it, that will probably be when I decide. If Barry can see it or not. Okay. And I know you mentioned that you were looking at film school. So what are your plans exactly for the future? Uh, hopefully, um, I would like to go to uh, the American Film Institute, um, which is a conservatory slash grad school where I can earn my MFA in film and perhaps make a living as a director or even teach, perhaps. I would like that. I would like to do that as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming thank to be you. on the show, Michael. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the future, and good luck in the competition. Thank you. Well, um, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to the update. Be sure to tune in next week when Caitlin Beard and Caitlin Kalerik will be here to discuss Barry's recent hookah ban. From all of us here at Viking Fusion, thanks for watching.